Hey you guys, it's Katie from the blog and podcast NowThatWe'reAFamily.com and today I get to talk to you about how Elisha and I have weatherproofed our kids. Elisha and I have weatherproofed our kids, meaning that we go out, rain or shine, snow, sleet, freezing cold, whatever, for two or three hours a day all year round. And obviously in the summer, it's really easy to get five to seven hours a day, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about that cold weather time. Now, if you're wondering why would you even want to do something like that, I've got a book for you. This changed my perspective on children being outdoors, especially children being outdoors in the fall and winter months when it's rainy and snowy. The quote in this book that really stuck with me is, there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothes. And so I'm going to take you on a walk through through my four children. They are five, four, three, and one. And we're gonna go through their outer clothing wardrobe. And I'm gonna talk about the incredible clothes I found to make the weather enjoyable and keep them cozy and rosy and warm, even on the coldest rainy days and obviously the snow too. And then this book reinforced everything that this book was saying. Uh, I think I have every single page, at least something underlined on every single page. And if you're a mother with young children, I cannot recommend this book enough, but just the importance on our children being outdoors for their brain and health and all that development. So, not only am I going to take you through and show you what items the children specifically have with links down below to every item, but I am also going to show you the systems that I have in place for my children when it comes to the really annoying parts of going outside. It's not necessarily that the outside time is so hard. Sometimes it is, you know, I have nightmares of trying to dig through the bin and find my snowsuit in the midst of all my sibling snowsuits and then I'm sweating and I'm digging to the bottom of the bin and I can only find one glove and one of my socks and I just I'm sweating and upset before I even go outside and then as a mother it's twice as annoying your kids come barreling in from outside bringing snow and mud and it's like a yard sale stuff just goes everywhere and you have beanies and gloves and snow and dripping mud all over your house and I knew that if we were going to be going outside multiple times a day for large chunks of time it needed to be smooth it needed to be enjoyable my children needed to be able to do this independently I needed to be able to keep inventory of the expensive clothes I was buying and the whole experience from getting in the clothes to going outside to coming in and having everything in its place needed to be smooth and easy that's what I wanted I wanted a system to maintain itself if you guys don't know creating systems for a smoothly peacefully productive home is kind of my speciality and if you feel like your home is overwhelmed bogged down you're burdened by motherhood and all the mess and chaos that it can create i would invite you to check out my free masterclass down below or just head to the get it all done club which is also linked down below and that is where I take women from chaotic homes to finding joy and peace. And instead of drowning in motherhood, thriving in motherhood. So come over and join 2,000 other women who have gone through the program. And let's go check out my two favorite closets in my house. Okay, so these two closets are right off of my kitchen and I've tried to maximize the space in these. Part of this system we have used for over a year and then I added this closet because this one was working so well. So let's take a peek. 
Okay, so in this closet, we have a lot going on. Up at the top here, I have the children's toys. Here on this shelf, I have the kiddos' school. On this shelf, we have more school and diapers because it's easily accessible to the living room changing station. And then down below, I have towels for the upstairs bathroom. I have blankets. We have drawing stuff for the kids down here. And then we get to the actual in and out stuff when it comes to the kids outerwear. So this closet is an incredible system over here because it enables my five-year-old, four-year-old, three-year-old, and one-year-old to be able to independently bring me their coats. And my one-year-old even comes over and replaces his coat on the hook. They're also able to grab out their beanies by themselves. They're able to grab out their gloves by themselves. And it's very easy for me to keep inventory as the parent. I just look over here and I go, oh, Lucy's coat isn't on the hook. Lucy, you need to go get your coat. So it's, it's not all dumped in a bin and they're trying to find beanies and trying to find gloves. It's all segregated. It's all set out neatly and they aren't getting overwhelmed trying to get themselves dressed. It's all very clean for them and they're able to do it on their own. And then down here in this area, I have the children's shoes. So the children never have more than two pairs of shoes at one time. I'm sure at some point in their future, they are going to be more like me as a teenager and want to have 16 or 17 pairs of shoes, but that's for them to manage. <laughs> right now, we, I just rotate these shoes. So this top shelf here has all of their rubber boots and then down below that, they have all their brown shoes. These leather shoes are incredible. They were very spendy this year. I did spend a lot on the kids' footwear, but the same concept applies regardless of how much you're spending on their footwear because I want my children to wear out their shoes before they grow out of their shoes. And the only reason I went with leather this year was because this is a shoe that they wear every single day. And the plastic shoes that I was getting them were giving my kids blisters. They were having a hard time walking in them and stuff like that. So I just thought, you know what, if they're gonna be wearing one shoe every single day for eight months, then it might as well be comfortable. So we went with leather for the kids this year and I don't regret it, but again that's that's more of a spinny purchase point so in the summertime instead of having the rain boots and then having the brown shoes we would have the brown shoes is like their church shoes and then down below they might have sandals or we would have tennis shoes and sandals or something like that that's what we did this summer uh, and then down below this is also something that's really helpful I have the children's socks next to their shoes so they aren't in their bedrooms they're next to the door where it's easy to go out if you have a closet closer to your door than this then by all means use that one but they're able to just grab their shoes and real quickly put on uh, grab their socks and their shoes and then head out the door and they aren't tracking mud or throwing their socks down next to their shoes and then going to their room and just leaving a trail. Something else that I think is super important is I labeled the children's shoes where their shoes go. A lot of the reason we have messes in our home is that children don't want to make the decision of where to put something. We have that as parents. We don't want, we don't know where something goes, so we shove it on the counter. And at the end of the day, there's just tons of stuff all over the counter. So if you want your children to replace things, then you want them to know exactly where to put it. And again, it's very easy for me to inventory because I come over here and I go, oh, Louis shoes are missing. Louis, where's your shoes? Where'd you leave them? And we aren't leaving you know, however much the shoes cost out in the rain overnight. I'm able to catch it real quickly. Okay, so moving on, this is, this is the cabinet that we use for summer, fall, winter. The kids have had these coats here for over a year now, and they're incredible because they're a $30 Amazon coat. You aren't spending a ton of money on Patagonia, but they wear these in the snow, they wear them in the fall, and they're light enough to totally wear all spring and all summer like they did on a cool night. Moving on to the more aggressive closet on the right. Okay, this closet on the other side also serves multiple uses. Up here we have our first aid kit, which honestly, I cannot recommend you getting enough. It was a big project to put together, but I will link the video down below of what I did to put it together and we use it all the time. Up here, I also have my husband's in my beanie, so when we're headed out, we can grab those here. And then this is a regular old coat closet. And down here, we have a little 
laundry bathroom system set up, which is for another video. Why I am utilizing a door here is because I like having everything hidden. And so this is again, another weather, waterproofing, weatherproofing door. And I have these baskets up here higher because these are things that I want to monitor. I don't want the kids accessing these whenever they want. They're gonna be something that I pull down for them. These baskets are amazing. They're the same ones that I have on the other door. They are easy to pop off and they have little stickers up here. So you can use them in your bathroom. You could use them anywhere. Uh, you just peel and stick. It's amazing. So I went with rain boots this year, the Hunter rain boots, which were more of a splurge. I didn't know if it would be worth it or not, but I hate storing clothes. <laughs> and so I want my kids to just use them and just wear it out so I could throw it away. And instead of buying rain boots for the rainy season and then buying snow boots for the snow season and having all these bulky boots I have to keep around, I just decided, you know what, we're gonna get one boot, we're gonna get one color, we're gonna hand them down, and that's what we're gonna do. And I will store these because I'm just storing one pair of boots, and uh, next year the kids can all go up in size and maybe I'll just buy the oldest a new pair. I got the boot socks. So I heard from a friend in Canada that her children stay warmer in these with the boot socks than they even do in snow boots. So you just pop the boot sock in there like that and it immediately turns into a snow boot, voila. So instead of having a bunch of clunky boots, you could just have one and have your little insert. So I have the inserts up here for the kids and then up here I have these waterproof gloves. Now you might think that all gloves are waterproof, but I tell you what, you put on snow gloves and you go out in the rain. And the first day we did that, my kids' hands were sopping wet and they were freezing cold and it's not a good time. So I found these uh, Diedrichsen's gloves and I saw a little girl put her hand in them and put them in a bowl of water and for like five minutes and they're completely waterproof. Nothing goes in them. So I love that. The kids, they have this high seal, they seal up towards their elbow and then have another little wristlet thing so it seals down closer to their hands. And I cannot recommend these gloves enough. On really cold days, they, they do have like a little fleece lining in there, but on really cold days, I have the kids put their hands in their mittens and then they put them in these mittens. So it's kind of double proofed. And I pull these out when, so I can keep track of these because again, these are more expensive item. They aren't just a little sweater mitten that's five bucks for 17 pairs or something like that. Down here, I have our more intense overgear. So the kids wear these rain suits over their jackets on cold days. And when the rain is warm, they just wear these on their own. So they can bounce on the trampoline. We go to parks, they slide down the slides. The slides are super fast in the rain, which is really fun if you're a kid. And they stay completely dry. We pull down these little gaiters over their boots and they jump in puddles. And again, they're totally dry. We come home and it's amazing. So anyways, on these hooks right now, we're in the rainy season. I personally found that the rainy season was harder to find clothes that worked for the children because obviously in the winter you have a snow, a snow suit, uh, but the, the hard rain and the freezing cold rain is a little bit trickier. So these suits are a lifesaver. We've got them for the little guy. We've got them all the way up. And then when it comes to winter time, I just pop these off when the snow starts coming and we hang up the kids coveralls that are their winter coveralls. And again, they're using the same coats year round. So they just use those coats that are hung on the other closet. Once again, they aren't digging through anything to find their stuff. It's all super easy to inventory and it's easy for them to keep straight and it's easy for me to keep straight and they put it back so well. If you guys are curious on how to habit train your children so that they keep the rooms clean without you having to nag them, they put away their stuff without you having to nag them, where you're not having to remind them over and over, do this, don't do that, do this, don't do that, and they just do it, then Join the Get It All Done Club. I just created a video for that over there, how I have habit trained my children so that they keep their rooms clean, they replace their clothes, they replace their toys, and I'm not having to nag them and stay on them and tell them do and don't all day long and just feel like a tyrannical mom. So anyways, I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you in our next video.